Okay, let's give you guys some practice now. So solve this inequality here. Um, so basically, I want values of x where if you if you uh, I want values of x where the whole thing here is less than strictly less than zero. Okay, so uh, we'll solve this inequality here. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so um, try try to sketch uh, a graph just to see what's going on. So let's let's multiply this out here. Okay, so this will be um, x squared, um, and then you've got plus three x, and then this times this it would be minus five x, and then uh, this times this here minus fifteen minus fifteen strictly less than zero. Now let's let's merge this and this together. Uh, so that will be uh, uh, this will be x squared uh, minus two x minus fifteen strictly less than zero. From this we can sketch the graph. Okay, so let's let's try and sketch the the graph of of y y of y equals that that thing there minus two x uh, minus fifteen. So we are we are basically drawing a a, a graph of this. Okay, so so that's just so that we can get to a uh, a sense of what's going on here. So hang on, so draw draw our graph here. Um, when when x is small, uh, this these two terms dominate here. So it will have an intercept of minus fifteen, minus fifteen here, and it has a gradient of minus two. So a gradient of minus two is going downhill like this. And uh, when x is big, it wants to do a quadratic. So, uh, so well, it wants to do something like this. Okay. Um, well, yeah. When x is big, it wants to do a a, a, a big U-shaped thing, and when x is small, it wants to do a straight line going through the going through um, minus fifteen with a gradient of minus two. So now you just got to compromise between the two. So I'm going to guess a quadratic to look something like this. Okay. And now going back to our original thing here. Well, you see, when you when you express y equals in this form here. Um, this the, one of the roots would be positive five, and the other one being being uh, being uh, negative three. So now, hang on. So now this thing here is negative three, negative three, and this thing here is uh, positive five. Okay. So so when when you draw a graph, um, when you draw a graph of y equals this thing here, it will look like this. Okay. Now going back to our original inequality here, we want this we want this whole thing here to be strictly strictly less than one. Now now if, if you draw a, a graph of y equals this thing here, you, you really get a sense of what's going on. So you remember you want the whole thing here to be less than one. So going going down here, you see if you select all these here, well all all, all these bits, well this all these here are less than one. Okay, less than sorry, less than zero. Zero is right here. Okay, zero is at this level here. You see, if you select all, all, all these here, well, all these are less than less than zero. So really, you want all the, you want everything in in this region here. Oh, uh, but but you're not allowed to um, select minus three because it's strictly, because th this sign here is strictly. So you cannot have, you cannot have. Um, Minus three and five. So basically, your number line will look something like this. Remember, you're you're interested in in this this region here because you want less than zero, strictly less than zero. So 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 translate this to your number number line. Zero here, minus three, not to scale. Okay, I've drawn the scale badly. So this is five here. So it cannot be it cannot be five and it cannot be minus three. Okay, but you you are interest you are interested in all everything in between here. So so your your number line will look like this. Okay, and now to translate this into uh, into x. Hang on, x. Remember, x has to be strictly bigger than minus three, and uh, strictly less than five. You see, this here is your solution. Okay.